everyone. Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're very happy to see you. We're working on uh, something that's literally just popped up on Facebook left, right and center. It's from Jordan Fabrics. It's called a roundabout block. I'm not sure if they're the ones who developed it or not, but you can usually get it in a kit, a pre-cut kit. And uh, it turns out to be a block this si a style, but not the size. This one is actually, I believe, is the 11 and a half one that uh, we came up with a pattern for. So if you're interested in that, just contact the mom and pop quilt shop, okay? And it turns out to be a fair size, actually. That's untrimmed, and this is a 12 and a half inch ruler. The one that was going out on the web was like a six inch or an eight inch block. Okay, so you can just tell it's just shy, just shy all the way around of a 12 inch block. So I'd say classify it as 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half and be happy and then trim it up, okay? So it's a nice big one. It's called roundabout. And there's, of course, there's a couple of different styles and how it goes about, whether you put the dark tab out here in the corner or you, and like, and then, then this is just switched another way or, or you put it with the lights and it ends up kind of making out some other little star in the other way. So we're gonna make two today. So I'll show you then how four all go together okay so this is what we're gonna do so i'll put that one that way there we go i didn't want the the loons being in the same way so we've got one almost uh, done here together i put my two and two and two so what you need to do is make sure you have and of course you can mix you could have mixed your lights and your darks um like i could have had these in different colors and all this but i just thought you know i'll do it this way because i don't know i feel like being weird today so that's what we're going to do so you just put a light and a dark together and making sure that you're putting them all four of them in the same way so if you're putting the the light on the bottom and then the dark on the top make sure you're feeding all four of them the same way because if all of a sudden you do this way you're like wait a second that's not right and then you use this handy dandy thing that we love so much here at quilt shop the ripper <laughs> The Ripper. Okay, so now we're gonna put these little four ones together and uh, then we'll add our little corners and make one like that, okay? Super easy. It's a cute block too. And it, um, if you do it with the dark corners out here, um, doing the, it's a totally different one. She, she named it on her little video. So if you go looking for it, uh, the roundabout block, there's two videos on there and there's one that's got two different pictures of the same, same quilt on the front and uh, you'll, you'll connect with it. It's very beautiful. So thank you to them for um, making it so popular and, and me determined that I don't have a, I didn't have a template for my Accu uh, quilt, and uh, I didn't have a, a ruler size for that. I just have my rectangular rulers and my big square ruler. So we figured it out via software. Now you wanna make sure you wanna press. So I'm gonna do the other one first, and then we'll press them, and then we'll sew those two together. So what you wanna make sure is you're just snicking, snuggling those two edges together, the dark and the light, plopping and flopping, and then just sewing right down. And you could either sew this way or that way. It's whatever makes you happy, okay? Just, and and that, I found this one very, the only time I needed a pin was in to join these two pieces together to, in the center to give me more of an accurate, um, precise point, voice, precise point that's gonna go on in the center point here, okay? So we're gonna give this a little press, okay? And you can choose any colors. I just I just chose blue because it was handy and it wasn't blocked by all their other stuff in the quilt shop. <laughs> and uh, and it kind of reminded me of a beach ball, so that sort of thing. So here we go. We'll take your one little pin, and you want to make sure you're coming in right in the center of these where these blocks are right here, like right right in here, and you're going to match it up with that one in there. Okay, so you're going to match those two, so those two little centers. Okay, are gonna match up and they're gonna sew right down from one edge to the other, okay? Super easy peasy. Like I said, it's fun block. Great, a great way to uh, scrap bust, especially if you just, if you're not, you're just losing lights and darks and mixing the colors with red and green and blue and purple and what have you. Uh, that would make an awesome, awesome looking scrappy quilt. Cause you got nice big chunks of fabric that would, what, that would show it off. That would show off the fabrics too, right? Not just, um, you know, uh, tiny pieces. Because sometimes it gets lost. You're not even sure what that tiny piece was from. 
Okay, so cut that, and then we're gonna give it a little press. And I call this like a beach ball. You know what I mean? Okay, my corner could have been a, a little bit more precise on that, but oh well. Life is good, move on. Okay. <laughs> and then it also gives another look if you had the points coming out here off the off the white, off the dark, right? Depending on how you have it sitting, you can make a square it up any way you like. But since we're doing it off the, the lighter shade, um, it to give it a little bit of extra star. Uh, and it actually kind of gives it more of a, like a, a roundy shape too. So we're just gonna add these on each corner. And then we have another one fully to build here. So we'll kind of scoot along here. You know what we're doing. Just line her up. Do a little visual. Okay. And I just, uh, we just printed a template. And I used uh, just pieces of paper. You know, here's one and here's the other. Those are the two pieces needed. And if you find that after they get a little wrinkly, after a few cuts with your template, just give them a little iron. It straightens the bag right back up. Okay, just give them a little press. And if you find you really like this block, you want to make a more permanent template, use a bit uh, like a cardboard file or something like that, right? You could use that. That would make a, a good template or, or um, layer packing tape, you know, around the template and even it up. So that would be another way. Oh, I was just going to say, we seem to be missing a triangle here. This actually came about as a project one day because um, one of my friends liked it and wanted to do it as a quilt. And uh, so we were trying to, you know, you know, come up with the angle and how on the ruler I could cut it and, and so on and so forth. And it just wasn't quite working out math wise. And I know, believe it or not, it wasn't working math wise. <laughs> so we went to the software and of course, lo and behold, magic pop, he goes and makes it happen. So, and here I am building it, you know, pretty cool, eh? All right. So now this one, we're going to build one more. Yeah, let me just move them over here just a smidgey. Okay, there we go. And like I said, you could have mixed all these light colors together. Uh, you know, make, you know, it could have been two dark blues in here, or those two blues, and then two of the, you know, whatever. I, I know, I just wanted to have a little bit of more consistency, so. Um, Mama Pop's Nature Sounds, provided by 10 baby chicks, <laughs> five days old. <laughs> Just around the corner. <laughs> they are cute little critters, let me tell you. I've got, uh, I've got five uh, light and five dark. <laughs> Maybe next weekend project, I'll show you one. But they're too tiny to handle right now, so I just leave them there and they chirp away and be all cute and fluffy like. So. They were quiet, and then I thought, okay, we can film now, because it kind of got a little quiet. <laughs> no! <laughs> They're going to be just like the cat. <laughs> Every time the camera goes on, this needs a little press. It's going to it's gonna make his presence known. All right. Okay. And this is just some white polka dot fabric I had left over. I, know. I chose creams and whites and, you know, but then ch chose the, the continuous shade of like, you know, uh, of blue throughout. But, you know, I could have had green and or gray or, you know, a black and white one or uh, say creams and tans and whites and then, um, you know, grays and dark blues and blacks. That would be a nice one too. So, but you want to give, make sure you receive some sort of color variants, right? Oh, hold on. Take my own advice. Okay, make sure. <laughs> make sure I'm doing laying them all the same way. <laughs> now, the question was, is did I have the right, the upside of the polka dot correct? <laughs> all right, so there's those four pieces. Okay, and you want to press to the dark. 
Sorry, I keep rolling over stuff here. Imagine that, eh? <laughs> okay, we got this. So far, uh, everybody's having a good weekend so far. It's been uh, pretty nice weather actually here. I've been loving it. Unfortunately, the countdown is on for Crossing Guard. I'm almost done. There's only like four weeks to go and kind of sad, but you know, also glad too. <laughs> Not glad to be, you know what I mean, just just to have some, a little bit more of a free time instead of such a, a you know, bigger schedule. So, between, you know, quilt shop, crossing guard, kids, and this, that, and bibbity bobbity boo and so, and then you just pick your whatever ones you want to match up, because either or, they're always going to end up, you know, being close to each other, so, color-wise, right? So, just line her up. And sew these two together, and then those two together, and then they'll tell two friends, and so on, and so on. And make ourselves an awesome block. The roundabout. I believe that's what how it's roundabout block. I just thought it was cute. It's fun to, like, I was... I can literally be content to find new things and stuff to sew every week for, like, years. Like, probably decades. <laughs> there's lots out there. There's lots. And there's lots to want to do and try, you know? Especially, you know, between this just regular sewing and you know and long arm stuff right so and uh, and how to use machine to utilize it the best possible okay so now these points you want to make sure I want to do a better job this time you're really lining those two up so you really want to get that and that right up together so I'm gonna put my pin I'm gonna flip them here I'm gonna show okay then I'm gonna come in right at that point, okay, right at that point right there, and I want to meet up with that same other point right there. And just keep it straight up and down. You want to make sure they're nice and snug together, and then we're going to take that over to the machine and give it a sew down. Give it a sew down. <laughs> so I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> yippee yay yo cowboy! <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, too much. Some people can't handle that too much in the morning. <laughs> okay. And then just kind of keep it upright as it's coming along. Okay. And give it a nice press. And hopefully that was better than the first one. Well, technically the third one, but you know, first for you. Okay. Different materials are going to react differently. This is flannelette. This is uh, obviously quilter's cotton. This is a bit of a linen. Um, this right here is also a quilter's cotton, but it's got, you know, like a little uh, fabric-y paint dot on it too. So it's different fabrics. Of course, it's going to stretch a little bit different than this one. Uh, take that in consideration when you're, you know, when you're choosing fabrics and stuff. Okay, there we go. Much better point on that one. Give it a little press. It would be good. There we go. It's so good. See, I figured I thought of actually how to sew these big circles together. And I thought, okay, that's just a hexagon looking for, for trouble. Because <laughs> we already did that. <laughs> All right. And I guess, it, you know, if, like I said, if you did it with the opposite, I should have left another one out there. It just kind of gives a little, even a different effect, right? It's really kind of cool. Make sure I got my stuff lined up. All right, four little points to put on, and then that's it. A little press, and weekend project is over. I've decided I was going to do more than just the four, so I thought I'd do it as a base to a uh, uh, baby quilt, and uh, then border it up a couple of times with some, you know, similar fabric. So I hadn't decided yet what I was doing with it. Is that the right way? Sometimes it's hard to tell with dotty fabric. So which dots are up, which dots are down. <laughs> All right, two more. 
Things have started to take off in our garden. Unfortunately, some of our stuff didn't survive the first planting, so we're gonna have to go get some more cucumber. Cucumber and pickles. <clears throat> I like my pickles. And I forgot what else we were gonna try and get. Something we didn't plant. I forgot what it was. That's okay, I'm getting old. I'll remember when I get to nursery. <laughs> All right, those are those four corners done. Give it a press. Oh, I like it with that dot fabric. That's really, that makes it really pop. Wish I had more of that. It's a good way to showcase your fabrics, you know. Um, any of you who've uh, watched the uh, fishy quilts, doing the fishy block, and then um, uh, I quilted it up on a long arm Wednesday, I did film the rest of stitching up the fishes. I have, I have, we have, I just put the little camera, push play and, or record and stitched all like, I think there's 26 or 27 different stitches on there. So lots to see and hopefully you'll uh, enjoy the video when it gets out there. It'll, it'll, it's got some processing to go first, but uh, put a little music to it and you can watch all the fishes getting stitched up if you like. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting. So this is the roundabout block. Hopefully you like it and take it on as a, you know, a, an easy task. I mean, it's, it's quite a cute little block. Um, uh, oops, uh, I think I'm gonna do possibly a big quilt out of it actually. Um, I think I'll probably do a scrappy one. You know, I like scrappy ones. And this is a good way to, if you've got a lot to bust of your scraps, this is a good way to get it up because that's a good size. That's a good size triangle right there. Uh, we're looking at what's six and three quarters long and you know, five and a bit wide. So that's a good chunk of fabric. And, it, and of course you need four, four darks and four lights for each one. And then you decide whichever you're gonna put your outer corner at, whether it be a light one or a dark one, it's completely up to you. So just make sure you allow enough fabric for that, okay? So hopefully you take it on. And if you do, I wanna see pictures, okay? So thanks for liking and subscribing and upvoting. And we really, uh, and, and just, you know, sharing and making comments. We really appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And uh, we'll see you next time, okay? Take care, see you soon, bye-bye.